Hey guys, been a while since we've uh, since we've been here. My team's getting up and running for today. Um, I just really wanted to jump on here really quickly and just give you uh, some some lowdown on some info because there's gonna be you'll see some of the Cairo Edge clients uh, who are subscribed to our service this week uh, post some different memes. One of which I think is so relevant this weekend being uh, Veterans Day uh, with the changes in the opioid crisis with different drugs being approved by the FDA now that are even more, uh, you know, uh, well you guys have probably seen all that. Anyway, this is totally different. Um, I'm really excited every once in a while. A lot of the research we look at, obviously, you know, we, we go ahead and we look at like three, we go and break down three different research articles every single week. And every once in a while, I mean, when you do that much, I get really easily excited, but every once in a while I get, like, really excited. And I'm so excited this week because I was scrolling through PubMed, uh, like, a week ago, um, two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, and I found in the Journal of Pain Medicine, or Pain Management, I forget what it's called, um, an article that I was like, this is huge news, and I haven't really seen it, uh, moved around too much or spoken about too much and basically it was, a, it was stuff that I didn't know that since 2004 the VA, Department of Veterans Affairs, has started implementing on a small scale rollout chiropractic care to, um, to, to their veterans they serve. They looked at and they looked at 14,000 veterans who have been receiving chiropractic care since 2004 and they basically looked at all the numbers in terms of their opioid use um, like they're, they're like Oxycontin prescriptions, right? Uh, their pain levels, their, um, their, their substance abuse, and they found that about 33% of um, veterans who started chiropractic care were on some kind of opiate, and about 20% had a substance abuse disorder. So that's wild. Um, now, what the VA has come out and said, and not in a chiropractic journal, I love this, not in JMPT, not anything, in the Journal of Pain Medicine, or Management, like I said, I don't know which one it was, They've come out and said, this is the VA, right? This is <laughs> with chiropractors. They've come out and said that they saw significant drops, significant drops in opiate usage within 30 days of beginning chiropractic care. Significant. And they're really excited about it. They're really excited about, about it in the, in, the, uh, in the article about how what this can mean for veterans. I mean... 14,000 vets, 33% on opiates, and they found a significant drop, a significant drop in the rates of how much these guys were taking these harmful medications within one month of getting chiropractic care. That's huge. Think about the implications. Think about the implications not only for v for veterans, think about the implications for community. I know ours has a huge, huge opiate epidemic going on right around now, and this is just like amazing, gets me super excited. I saw a couple people just jumped on, so I'll just repeat it. The VA has come out and said and published earlier this year in the Journal of Pain Medicine, in the Journal of Pain Management, that since 2004, in which they began uh, rolling out chiropractic care in VA clinics, they've seen significant decreases in the rates of opiate usage within one month of the veterans receiving chiropractic care, within one month. That's absolutely amazing. So take that with you to heart, um, share that kind of stuff, Share this video, share that meme when it comes out on our page uh, later today, um, and just share, man, because your community deserves it. One more thing, I just wanted to thank so many of you guys for reaching out to me personally, uh, asking about the chiropractic research breakdown. There has been a good of a, a bit of a gap in the amount of in the episodes we put out recently, and I have no excuse. Uh, I mean, everybody's busy, right? I have no excuse about why I haven't gotten that out. I just, you know, let other things get in the way. And I wanted to apologize for that. And I wanted to let you know, just kind of, especially, many of you guys have reached out, texted me, emailed me, said, what the heck, man, like, we really want this. And I've said, you know, I'll get back to it, I'll get back to it, I'll get back to it, I'll get back to it. Uh, and this, this article this morning really was an inspiration for me to get back on it, starting uh, with an episode next Sunday night. Uh, just because, man, it is so important. It's so important to get this research out there. It's so important for me to empower you to be able to deliver to your community and let me and let people know, right? Let people know what options are out there. And if it changes one life, that's great. If it changes the lives of 14,000 veterans, that's even better. So I just want to thank you guys for slaying those subluxations, right? Unleashing those imprisoned impulses. Continue to check back on, uh, continue to check back on this page because you'll continue to share, have us share some good stuff because it's worth it, man. 
apologies to those of you guys who followed in the past, and apologies that I let you down, and uh, I look forward to delivering some good content to you in the future.